Ah, the sound of peace and quiet. Welcome back, everyone, to the CDDA Challenge. Last episode, we had to fight a lot of things, and this episode probably isn't going to be too much different. City Trash has survived 8 days, 20 hours, killing almost 500 zombies, and we're not gonna stop there. Right now, my main goal for this episode is to, you know, fortify our base and make it to where zombies won't be able to enter so easily. Of course, in order to do that, we need nails, which is exactly why I say that we're going to be killing a lot of things. But before we do any of that, I need to grab all of the loot inside our station wagon and bring it on inside our new home. And while we are out here, I need to keep an eye on these corpses around the main central area as there is a pretty good chance that one of them will get up and try to murder me, like this bozo here. I'll give him a good ol' shiving. Man, even screwdrivers go really hard. <laughs> Alright, who's up next? Oh man, there are quite a few more than I was actually expecting here. I mean, I'm not complaining, because with every single zombie we kill, it increases our XP to be even more dangerous and deadly in the future. Don't mind me as I take that hunting knife off you as well. <laughs> oh, short blade pays for itself. What can I say? And now that all of those zombies are dead, I can finally move the loot over. With the books going inside here, the accessories and crafting materials inside here, lastly, the weapons being placed upstairs inside of this closet here. We have a bunch of them that I will probably never use before I die. <laughs> it sure is nice to look at, though. Ah, oh, especially that juicy little sledgehammer. Aside from a few bits and baubles that I need to throw away in here, that is going to be everything that was inside our car. Which isn't very good at all, because the one thing that we are missing right now are nails. We don't have any. And when my entire plan kind of rides on us having nails in order to defend our house, you can kind of see the problem. So, that brings me up to my next goal, and that is to explore these buildings right here, disassembling literally everything in sight, so we can scrounge up enough nails to defend and secure our new mansion home. Which means we're gonna need weapons and the tools, which are things that we already have. Really, the only thing we need to bring up to the table is an optimistic and bloodthirsty mindset. I mean, with how many zombies we've killed so far, there can't be that many out anymore. <laughs> I'm just kind of feeding myself lies so I can feel a little bit better about this. Who knows, I might find a big old box of nails within one of these homes here. No, it just seems like there's just a massive horde ready to kill me. Oh, yippee! <laughs> it's already gonna be one of those days. Alright, come in single file lines please so I can strafe you accordingly. Oh, that's the kind of combo we're talking about. With each kill I grow stronger. <laughs> uh, can you feel it now? I don't know why I asked the zombies that question. They obviously can't feel a thing. Whew. It just goes to show you the power of the short blade once you get it rolling, though. I can only imagine the carnage once we get up to, like, level 5 or 6 short blade. Our maintenance is already fantastic. So we are getting a lot of mileage out of each and every weapon. I will be saving the hunting knives for the hordes and the screwdrivers, which is something that I also have an abundance of, for the singular bozos out there that don't really require the extra damage. I just want to make it to the house now. I've killed enough, right? Nope, they just keep on coming, but I do spot another hunting knife for me to use later. Oh, at this point, it's just a very bad cycle of death. That's the backyard cleared out. I'm gonna go check the front just in case, though. Which looks like a really good idea when you see that there are 20 plus zombies just chilling at the front porch. Though the more that I'm fighting with these massive hordes with Short Blade, I will say one thing. If you don't have a good sense of combat in this game, I would not recommend using Short Blades. Uh, it, is, it is a very small room for error, for not too much of a payoff, especially when only psychopaths like me fight massive hordes like this with a knife. <laughs> but if you're the same cut of cloth as I, you're gonna have a fantastic time with it. Ooh. 
And that is a horde taken care of. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Got a little stinker there that tried to try to get the jump on me. We did lose a hunting knife in that battle, but surprisingly or unsurprisingly, we got another knife off a dead zombie. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever run out of weapon choice in this run ever. And might I say, the payoff was probably not worth it. We killed a solid 50 zombies or so in that little interaction, and all we really have to show for it is a single uh, upper class suburban home. Eggers can't be choosers though. Let's see what we have inside here, which honestly doesn't matter because I will be tearing this place apart like a nematode very soon. Hello, goodbye. So first of all, let's go check every single room and see what goodies they have inside now, which includes a book, fishing volume three, another zombie, a can of oats and honey. I'll help myself to the can of oats right now, seeing that we are hungry and I forgot to pack breakfast. Canned carrots, dried chickpeas and pepper, useless clothing, painkillers, another saw, and an extra screwdriver. I'll take the screwdriver, that's pretty awesome, but this was an extremely disappointing house, especially given the, the sunk cost. But the loot didn't matter. What matters are the supplies that we get from disassembling each and every piece of furniture within this place. We are sitting at a solid level zero carpentry, so we're not going to get too much supplies. And sadly, I don't have the carpentry one book to get the XP boost from, so we're just going to have to hit the ground running and hope we get enough nails to make a difference. It's really dark out because it is laid out. We're hungry, we're tired, we're bored, and we're anxious. And guess how many nails we got out of this entire house? Nine whole nails for this whole house. An entire day's worth of work. That is the most demoralizing and disappointing haul I've ever had. Let's make our way home, go to sleep, and cross our fingers that we find a, a box of nails at this rate. But hey, with every bad day, there's a better chance of a new one being 10 times better. Not only that, but it's looking like a winter wonderland outside. The snow is out, it's falling, and it is extremely peaceful out. Welcome to day just about 10. Now, I already know that there are going to be a ton of zombies around the general area, but right now my hope is that this house here, this one, I don't want to circle it in because I will be crossing it out soon, doesn't have too many zombies in front of it, as I have cleared out all the ones there. You know what though? I might walk back on my plan on checking out this house in favor of these homes down here. This right here is a gated community, but the thing that's cooler about these smaller homes compared to our homes is that they have garages in each and every house. And if I'm gonna get a box of nails, it's gonna be from this spot here. So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a bit of an expedition, a whole 10 steps outside my house to see if uh, <laughs> any of those garages has a box of nails inside it. I'm, I'm getting desperate at this point. You can actually tell my mental state by looking at how many corpses surround my house. The higher, the more stressed and or disappointed I am. So maybe we need just one win in our book. Just one. That is all I ask. I'm also getting kind of scared of going through this hedge every single time because there is a pretty good chance we can scratch up our character on those hedges and that tree. I feel like a scratch on a hedge is the least of our worries right about now. I do know that we're gonna have to fight a massive horde in order to get to the spot. Though right now, I feel like a, a hedge scratch is the least of our worries. Because you know for a fact that as soon as I walk down a little bit more into that community, the zombie population is going to get nutty once again, which is exactly why I have my stabbing knife out, a big old nine inch bowie. Good old Crocodile Dundee would be so proud. Ooh, and it also looks like a nice fog is setting in. Combining with the winter weather, this is a vibe and a half. I'm actually a really big fan of this weather. It doesn't obscure my vision too much, and it kind of gives the world that eerie glow, knowing full well that Trash is one of the last humans on this earth. And oh wow, that is a pocket cluster of zombies. Nice try, Bozo. Man, and the more I'm thinking about, like, knife combat, the more I realize that Nimble 
combining with this short blade would be the most busted combo ever. Sadly, we are only at level two nimble, but once we get to like three or four, I can really see our damage potential increasing and wow, they just keep on coming out of the damn woodwork, don't they? I have stabbed so many people and I will continue to stab until there are none left. Maybe now I can go check out the house. Nope, never mind. I, I am genuinely surprised at how many zombies have just decided to show up. What I think it is. Ooh, settle down. What I think it is, is I'm making a lot of noise on the other side of this fence here. And all the zombies behind that fence are hearing me and are currently pathing towards my location. Thus giving me a bigger horde than what I initially wanted to deal with. That's just my theory anyways. Woo, new level of maintenance. That's what I'm talking about. See, what did I say? What did I say? Hey, and that's a new level of short blade as well. Ho, ho, ho. That's the power curve I've been talking about. Oh, and one last thing about the knives that makes it really cool is that the repair is one cheap and two extremely cost effective. I'll show you after I kill these last two. Anyways, for a single like third of a roll of duct tape, you can repair 50% of the knife with one go. Basically making this a serviceable horde clearing weapon once again. Sadly, I don't think we found any hunting knives in this horde, but I'm sure we'll find another extremely soon. All right, RNGs, I fought your strongest battle. Please give me what I deserve now. Nope, there seems to be a few more, but overall, it's not that bad. Let's go clear out these ones here, and then we can go check out the juicy garage next. Stealth kill. Nice. I think that should be enough to finally see what's going on with this little garage here. The window's open, and this zombie is the only thing between me and a potential box of nails. Uh, oh, and a generator. That's actually pretty damn awesome. For, for later. Not right now, though, because we still have a bunch of the day left. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check the inside of the home as well, seeing that we've cleared out everything here. And by everything, I mean a mere fraction of the true horde of zombies that still lurk within this neighborhood. <laughs> it's never, it's never that easy. But what do we have in here, other than another zombie that easily gets stealth killed? Gosh, I'm, I'm like a ninja at this point. Good old trash. Corned beef and a fruit cocktail. I'll actually eat the fruit cocktail right now. Which is it for this house? I really wasn't expecting too much because, you know, they're tiny homes, tiny amounts of loot. I I'm really only here for those beautiful, beautiful garages you see right there. Oh man, that's another horde, isn't it? Yep. Okay, come on, D whatever, I don't really care. It's not like my, it's not like I've been f stabbing zombies the entire run of this episode. I'll, I'll stab a few more hundred, if that's fine with you. This one's a little bit bigger than what I'm really used to though. When will you learn that your actions do in fact have consequence? By the way, this number of zombies is after the, the, the hordes that I fought with the chopper event. I do not want to imagine what they looked like before. <laughs> I've been really putting out my neck here just for some damn nails. At, at this rate, I would have a better chance of burning down a house and just sifting through the ashes. At the very least, they're a lot more easy to deal with in small clusters like this because I don't have to stab 20 plus zombies five times to kill the horde. And you can definitely feel the new level of short blade really coming through. If I had picked any other weapon for the series, by the way, I would be so screwed. I'll drop the shotgun at M1911 M here. I don't really plan on using it right now as I don't have a death wish. As strong as my stabbing skills are, they are no match if I don't have anything to stab with. By the way, we have not gotten exhausted once this entire episode. Absolutely bonkers. And there's another generator inside here. Ooh, with a padded jacket. 
I would 100% take this if it wouldn't actually hinder me right now. We already have like almost perfect insulation. So getting more insulation on top of that would not really work out well for us because there is a point to where I just start sweating and sweating is not good in winter. I don't think it has too much of an effect in game, but one thing that I do know is that getting unpleasantly hot in Zomboid will exhaust your character a lot quicker. So I kind of want to avoid getting too warm. Anyways, what about this garage here? I've been a good boy this year. Please, Santa, it's Christmas time. It'd be a real miracle. Okay, a machete, that's, that's pretty epic actually. But I just need a single box of nails, <laughs> please. Let's try and work our way over to the next garage down here. Oh, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot of competition right now. Maybe we can get there for a little bit stealthy. I mean, what's a dex-based blade guy without a little bit of stealth added in? Let's try not to stealth our way into an early death, though, <laughs> because there are a lot of ways a zombie could ambush us. What do we got inside here, though? A, a full-on barbecue, sheets, a comic book, and a leaf rake. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. You gotta give me, you gotta give me something a little bit more tangible. Nope, just more zombies. Zombies on top of zombies on top of zombies. How big of a horde is that? Uh, yeah, whatever, just bring it on. Just think of it as doing the world a favor, all right? Sure, it might annoy you in the moment, but that's one less horde I'll have to deal with in the future uh, until they respawn. And holy crap, that was, that was a brutal combo I just pulled off there. Oh, more just keep on coming from the cracks though. You know what this feels like? This feels like trying to bail out a boat that's already sinking. Like there's a massive cannonball shaped hole in the hole and it's already not looking good, but I still have my little bucket of water and I'm trying anyways. Surely, a, a few more stabs and this horde will be destroyed. Oh, there goes another knife. Uh, it's a good thing I can just do a quick little like pit stop repair if I run up just a tiny bit more. We still aren't exhausted, by the way. We've been fighting this entire time. <laughs> ah, it feels good. It feels good. Though, once I kill like five more zombies, I might pull out the machete just to use it and kind of speed things up a little bit, you know? You know, as bad as the circumstances may be, killing over 200 zombies just for a single box of nails because of the population, the one thing I am grateful for is uh, that I never tried to do this with the zero to hero challenge mindset, because I assure you with this many zombies and having zero stamina or strength, I would have gone absolutely bonkers. Ooh, settle down there, but you know what? But you know what? Because Trash is an actual Giga Chad with like 8 in fitness and 9 in strength, I can manage these hordes pretty well. Only using blades, by the way. If I would have used a crowbar there, it would have been a death sentence or a multi-day thing. With that last swing, peace has been- nope. There's two more. <laughs> that last swing, however, will mark a- oh, come on. Where do you guys come from? This swing, for real this time, will mark a, a nice, peaceful moment for trash. Bodies litter the streets, but hey, we got a new screwdriver. It's pretty late in the day. I might as well go loot these homes in here as well, just for the smallest chance of finding what I need. We got Carpentry Volume 1 and a Woodcraft episode. A bunch of canned food. Okay, I I'm actually pretty happy I decided to loot this place. A hand torch, which is actually awesome because of how dark the nights get out here. Yeah, not bad. We also have some books with one last bozo inside. Next house. Oh, these hordes never seem to let up at all, but we have made it inside here. This house looks to be pretty furnished, so my hopes are high. Canned peaches. A gun case with 223 ammo inside of it. Military desert boots with a crowbar. I was, 
Yeah, I'll take the boots, man. It's whatever. I was really hoping that would have been, uh, you know, nails. Oh, what a hot commodity that is. It, you know, it's always the basics with this challenge. First, it was a freaking can opener, and now it's just, like, nails. I'm gonna go check out the garage, and that will be it for my little expedition today. I hope I don't attract any hordes. You know, that would be tragic. If I do, I'm running away very bravely. Car battery and another screwdriver. Gosh diggity dang it. <laughs> I'm not having it today. You know what? I have a better plan on how to get nails a correct way. Though that's going to require a little bit more planning and a lot more gas. I'm going to leave that horde there. I fought enough. I have I've done much more than I actually want to do today. That's all I'll say. And the zombies just keep on coming through one way or another. I'm going home. I'm going to sleep and I'm going to end the episode here. What did we get accomplished today? Nothing. Do I care? No, <laughs> I've killed enough. And I mean it, because we have killed 666 zombies so far, and the number is only going up. Honestly, today wasn't all too doom and gloom, as I did level up my short blade and maintenance skill to a level to where I've become, you know, a bit of a master with it. Sure, we're not up there yet, but I can already feel the power creep, and we have been cutting down hordes pretty easily. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. Next time, I'm going to plan on using the little bit of gas that we do have and our generators to pull off something semi-big. And then after that, it's going to be the big one. So next episode, we're going to drive all the way back to this funky little spot here. Peace the hell out, everyone.